it's clear that the AI Act will have implications in the relations between EU and US on these topics. Because we have been trying to build some bridges. For example, the definition of the AI systems is the one that has been adopted at the OECD level together also with the United States. And also we have been working on the idea of a risk management system, a risk-based approach to AI to identify which are the most risky AI systems. And this approach is shared in the dialogue with the businesses, with the governments, with the um, uh, uh, various uh, uh, articulations of uh, the uh, administration here uh, in the US. So we have a common objective, mitigating risks, reducing uh, problems, increasing opportunities. Clearly we have also differences. Uh, today there is no um, uh, mandatory uh, AI uh, conformity assessment in any upcoming uh, legislation, unlike what we are doing in EU. But there are com common points of view and obviously our act will be also a basis for further dialogue, for building common rules at international level and specifically in the transatlantic context. For example, for um, the integration of our markets, their interoperability and also what we do with data. So AI Act will be a building block for advancing a common digital market between EU and US.